Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see the solution of the problem frequencies of limited range array elements. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Given an array ARR of n positive integers which can contain integers from 1 to p where elements can be repeated or be absent from the array. So what does that basically mean is that we have an array of size n in which the uh, integers, the values of the arrays are between 1 to p okay and the elements can also be repeated your task is to count the frequency of all the numbers from 1 to n so we need to tell the frequency or the number of occurrences of each integer from 1 to n remember the elements can be between 1 to p we need to tell the frequencies of number between 1 to n only make in place changes in array arr such that array of i equals to frequency of i so uh, we do not we want to return an frequency array which will tell the frequency of each and every element from 1 to n in the array but we want to make the in place changes in this array only so we do not want to declare another frequency array okay assume one based indexing the elements greater than array uh, n in the array can be ignored for counting and do modify the array in place so the elements which are greater than n because the we are doing in place changes the size of the array is n so the elements which are greater than n there is no valid index for them and we can ignore them we want to count the frequencies of elements from 1 to n only so for example if my n is 5 and the number of elements are uh, the elements are 2 3 2 3 5 okay and p is 5 so what will be my output so this will basically represent the count of 1 in array this will represent the count of 2 in array this will represent count of 3 in array this will represent count of 4 in array and this will represent count of 5 in array so how many 1s are there 0 how many 2s are there 2 how many 3s are there 2 how many 4s are there 0 how many 5s are there 1 okay so you can see the explanation here similarly you can go through this example also and this example also you do not need to read input or print anything complete the function frequency count that takes array arr and integer n and p as input parameters and modify the array in place that is do not declare a new frequency array to store the frequencies of the elements modify this array in place only so modify that array which contains the elements initially should finally contain what the frequencies of the elements okay to denote the frequency count of each element from 1 to n the expected time complexity is big of n and expected auxiliary space is constant and the constraints are given here so now if we think about solving this problem then for example let's say n is equals to 7 the size of the array is 7 and the elements are this okay now since n is equals to 7 let us suppose that p is equals to 8 okay or p is equals to 9 so the array elements will be between 1 and 9 okay but we need to tell the frequencies of all the elements from 1 to 7 only and the changes should be made in this array only okay so your count of 1 will come your count of 2 will come your count of 3 will come your count of 4 will come your count of 5 will come your count of 6 will come and your count of 7 will come so what will be count of 1 1 what will be count of 2 1 what will be count of 3 1 what will be count of 4 2 what will be count of 5 1 what will be count of 6 0 what will be count of 7 0 so my this initial array should finally get modified and look something like this which basically denotes the frequencies of elements from 1 to n or 1 to 7 okay and this is zero index remember this is zero index this is first index this is second index this is third index and so on so ith index will store the frequency of uh, element with value i plus 1 okay now if this question was asked where we can declare a new frequency array then the question would become very easy we can declare a new frequency array make all the counts as zero initially and then traverse this array and increase the frequency of that array respectively but here we are said that we need to make the changes in place okay so we need to modify this array into this array okay now what the problem will occur is let's say you traverse the array and you found three okay so now you have encountered the first three so at this index you know that the count of three will be stored so you your mark one now when you mark one year what about four where it will go you need to take care of that also this value should not be lost because i want to know the count of this also right so if you make the count of second index as one that you have encountered the first three then what about this value that's the first issue second issue is that when you make the count 1 now when you are traversing the array and you see that this index has value 1 so this one does it represent the frequency of some element or is it the value of the original array 
are you getting my point when you are traversing the array let's say here you have one okay so the, is it the array element or is it the frequency count of five in the array what is it representing when you are traversing the array because you are going to make changes in place only so you need to take care of these two things okay first when you are traversing the array whether a particular element is representing frequency or whether it is the array element of the original array right because you want to make place changes in place only second uh, if you find a particular element and you uh, let's say you encounter three and you made the changes at the second index which basically holds the count of three in the array then what about the element which was at that index how will you handle that right so what we will do is we will store counting negative wise so what i'm trying to say let's say i encountered three so instead of storing one i will store minus one now whenever an element is minus that is basically frequency but we have just replaced it with minus sign so that we know that it is not the original array element it is the count of frequency are you getting my point so one problem is solved second problem was that what about the original element which was at that place so what we will do whenever we uh, change the uh, frequency count at some index we will see element at that index first of all we will swap that with the current index and then make the changes so what i'm trying to say is let's say i have 3 4 4 8 1 2 5 i encountered 3 okay so now 3 will store be stored here year count of 1 year count of 2 count of 3 count of 4 count of 5 count of 6 and count of 7 okay now 3's count will come here okay i am traversing the array from left to right so here i will store minus one why minus so that i know it is not the original array element it is frequency count what about four so before storing minus one what i will do i will swap three and four and then instead of three i will make it as minus one so this data is lost at this point i have minus one right but i do not require this data anymore because i have stored that count of three as minus one year right and i have got my four year okay now whenever an element whenever a particular index while traversing from left to right until it has a positive value we will not move on to next index right because it is a value which was swapped with some other index while counting right so we swapped three and four because we no longer needed three but we needed four so we uh, took four here and we made the count here as minus one right but we will not move further we first we will handle this value until a negative value comes here we will not move forward now four counting will come here so i'll exchange four with eight because at this index value eight is stored okay and then i'll replace four with minus one okay so this is the minus one count of this three this is minus one count of this four now eight eight is greater than n so simply what i will do i cannot exchange it with anyone but simply i'll mark this index as zero right because i know that the elements in the original array are positive only now when i will encounter one i will uh, make this minus one okay now again i encountered four now i will check at third index what is the value at third index i have minus one now minus one is a frequency it is not a value because it is negative and the values are only positive so what i will do i will not exchange it i will simply make the count minus two so if the a value at a particular index is less than equal to zero will simply decrease it by one okay because we want to increase the frequency count but in negative way okay so i'll just do minus two and i'll make the count of this index as zero then i'll move forward i'll see here it is minus one at this index so it is not a value it is frequency then at this index also value is negative so it is a frequency then at this index value is one where will one be stored at zero index what is the value at zero index zero so it is not a value it is a frequency because values are only from 1 to p positive so what i'll do i'll not exchange it with anyone but at this index i'll mark zero and i'll decrease this by one because i have found one one okay then i'll see two two will be stored here here it is zero so i'll simply uh, make the count at make the value at this index as zero and decrease the count at this index okay uh, then uh, i will encounter five five will come here that is zero so i'll uh, make the count at this index zero uh, that okay now this index value is zero and this five i will make this minus one 
ओके सो माय एरे विल बी माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो एंड जीरो एंड फाइनली आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाय माइनस वन सो वन 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 टू वन जीरो जीरो वन 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 टू वन जीरो जीरो वन 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 टू वन जीरो जीरो एंड आई हैव गॉट माय आंसर सो जस्ट टू सम अप व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल बेसिकली ट्रावर्स द एरे फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट एंड आई विल सी व्हाट इज द एलिमेंट एट आई इंडेक्स इट इज एरे आई ओके सो इट विल बी स्टोर्ड एट इंडेक्स व्हाट एरे ऑफ आई माइनस इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ द आई इंडेक्स इज एरे आई इट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी स्टोर्ड एट इंडेक्स एरे ऑफ आई माइनस If the value is five, its count will be stored at index four. So I will see what is the value at fourth index, or what is the value at let's say uh, 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 the fourth index, right? For array of i equal to five. If that value is positive, I will exchange it with this index, with ith index, and make the count at this index minus one because I have encountered five for the first time, right? If the value is already less than equal to zero at fourth index, it means that I have encountered five before, maybe, or uh, the count is zero at that index. I'll simply decrease its count and move on to next index. But if the value is positive, first I'll exchange the value, then make the count at that index minus one, and then again operate on the same index. Okay, and this in this way we will complete the traversal, and then finally we will multiply it by minus one so that the frequencies again gets converted into positive elements. Now let's look at its actual code. So if we look at the actual code, so what I have done, I have taken some variables to traverse. Then for i equals to zero to n, if the value of the element is greater than zero or less than equal to n, then only I have to uh, uh, consider it for counting its frequency. Because if the value is less than equal to zero, it means that is not a value. Because original values are between one to p. If the value at i index is less than equal to zero, it means it is a frequency count. Okay, so I'll not do. Uh, I'll not consider this. Uh, so if it is between this, then I need to consider the frequency. If it is greater than n, then uh, we do not need to consider it frequency. There are only n elements in the array. So I'll simply make the array of i equals to zero, and I'll move on to the next index. If the array is not greater than n, and if it is not between uh, one to n, then it will definitely be negative. So it will represent a frequency count. So I'll simply move on to next index. Now, if it is between one to n, I need to increase its frequency count. So first of all, I will uh, see the index where its count is to be increased. So uh, area, if the value of the i th element is area of i, its count will be stored at area of i minus one index, that is j. Now, if that index has already value less than equal to zero, it means it has occurred before, and there is no swapping required. So, what I'll do, I'll mark the array of i as zero. I'll decrease the frequency count by one at jth index where uh, it is supposed to be stored, and I'll go on to next index. But if the value at the jth index where array of i frequency will be stored is not less than equal to zero, it is positive. Then, first of all, I'll swap that value with array of i. So now, this value comes at ith index. Then I'll make the count of area of j equals to minus one because since it was positive, it means that the this value which is at i index is encountered for the first time. So I'll make its frequency count as minus one, and I'll not move on to next index. I'll not do i plus plus because now the element which was at j index, the positive element has come to i index. I also need to take care of frequency count of that element. So I'll again operate on the i index, okay? And this way I'll complete the loop. And finally I'll multiply it by minus one, or I can say I'll say area of i equals to minus area of i. So that the frequency count which was negative will become positive and zero will remain zero. What will be the time complexity? Time complexity would be big of n because we are running a for loop of size n. And what would be the auxiliary space? The auxiliary space here will be constant because we are not using any array or something. We are just taking two variables and we are making the changes in place for this array. Okay. I hope you have understood it. Now let's submit this code. So let's submit it. So we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood the solution completely. Thank you.